Alright everyone, how we going? So today we'll be going through how you can install your Cooler Master HyperTX3 Evo onto the G5, uh, Dell G5 5090 model. So as you can see, I've opened, already opened mine up, which is really easy to do. It's just held together by these screws in the back right here. And you can take that off and pull the cover out. So, as you can see here, mine already, I have my Cooler Master set up, and I'll be going through how I did mine, and how you can give you some tips, which will help you when you're doing yours. So initially, what you're going to have, is just to go through step by step, is you're going to have your stock cooler, which looks like this, as your wire, and what this will do, it will be connected right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to have to just take a regular Phillips screwdriver and each one of these you're going to unscrew, unscrew and just before you take it out make sure that you unplug this from the CPU cooler connection socket on the motherboard which is right there and so you can just use one of the Phillips screwdrivers for that. So once you've done that you can pull that out. And what's going to have, it's going to have the thermal paste stuck on here and also on the actual CPU, which is just right there underneath this stock, uh, this cooler master at the moment. So you're going to get, take a tissue and wipe that off, make sure it's nice and clean. All right. And afterward, once you've done that, you're going to have to prepare your Hyper TX3 Evo cooler. And what that comes with initially, the legs will have. Um, so as you can see in the picture here, mine's already set up, but yours will be these legs um, I'm pointing to right now, which is this one right here. So those legs I'm referring to, and I'll show you on the actual um, here. So I'm referring to these legs right here. So those legs. So what they're going to have first attached to them are these. So these things so what these things are um, they're there for some other CPU models which work but for ours for the Dell G5 it doesn't work so if it does work for you if you have a different model then for sure you can just use these but how you take these out it's very simple so if you look at the bottom here you can see there's a small gap there in the top right corner of the so right there and you can see if I twist this, just give me a second, I'll twist that. So now, as you can see, that little white block there needs to come through this small hole here. So I could not find this documented anywhere or anyone telling you how to remove this. So I'm just showing you how to do it now, which is quite helpful. So once you align those, then you just push this. And you just you can use something just to leverage the clips here. Um, if, if they're being held onto by something, and they should come off really easily. So you're gonna push these out, and in the end, it's going to come out like so. So here, an example of one that's already been out. So once you take it out, it should be like this. So it's out, and how it goes back in is you can just put this. Uh, inside and as you can see what I was referring to before is this little uh, head right here which goes only inside from this angle the specific uh, angle so that goes inside there all right but anyways if you take that out now you know what to look out for then you're gonna have your legs just by themselves and what we're going to be using to mount it onto our motherboard is these um right here so you can go through one by one and why we chose these so i'll link i'll put a link onto the forum that discussed these as well but um, essentially what you want is a 10 millimeter m3 screw with a phillips head or any head as long as you have the screwdriver to use it followed by you can get an m m4 flat washer and an m3 flat washer so you can use either or but the reason why i chose to use both of them is because the m3 
will stop the M3 screws for coming through and the M4 will stop because it's wider it will stop the washer the M3 washer from coming through the leg because the leg is a bit wide when you see it yourself after you've taken out these things from the leg so what we're going to do is um, first what you want to do is when you're screwing these on is uh, so after you've attached the leg onto the CPU cooler with the middle configuration and you know what I mean by the middle configuration when you try to do that following the instructions that come from the HyperTX3 EVO after you've done that and you're mounting your you've prepared your cooler master and you want to mount it onto the mother mode you want to use uh, you want to have your leg first followed by an M4 washer followed by an M3 washer and then your M3 screw and then you're just going to screw that onto the motherboard do the same with the other one you can also have your PC mine standing up right now but you can have it sitting down so it's easier for you and make sure you've also applied the thermal paste as part of the preparation for the cooler master uh, as well so you have the thermal paste on top of the cooler master that's also uh, defined in the instructions in there so you can you won't miss out so it will be there and once you've done that and you've screwed it onto your motherboard all you want to do is you want to plug in the CPU um, the fan to the CPU socket right there and you should be good to go alright so that will be the setup and you can see here the finished product as well um, and you should be done so if you have any questions let me know and also in the next video, I'll also be showing you guys how you can connect uh, multiple fans using fan splitters and so on onto the Dell G5. Alright, so thank you for listening and see you next time.